What's up guys, Jenny my friend, welcome to a brand new video guys And today we're looking at a pretty bad YouTuber guys And um, we're going to be talking about him and I'm going to be telling you guys why I personally think he's a pretty bad YouTuber And um, yeah guys, we're going to be basically um, diving deep into this YouTuber and talking about him so this all started like a few minutes ago, like 15, 20 minutes ago, when I saw DJ Cook's most recent video. So I clicked on it and I'd already watched hit the video. So I thought, why not scroll down to the comments? That's exactly what I did. And I found a very interesting comment, guys. I found a comment from this guy called Mike Wazowski, guys. And he commented, dude, you need to check Swipe. He's just like it's so in Trendspot Adventure, Real and Real Carl, etc. So I don't really know who Real Carl is. I've never really heard of him. But if you guys don't know, it's so in Trendspot and Adventure are pretty uh, those three YouTubers that he listed off in that comment just there are pretty clickbaity bad YouTubers. So then I thought, who the meow head is Swipe? So I searched up Swipe on YouTube and I think I found the guy that this Mike Wazowski guy is talking about in this comment, guys. So today we're looking at this guy's channel and talking about him. So I searched up Swipe on YouTube and this is what I found, guys. So this is the person I think that that um, Mike Wazowski guy was talking about in that comment on DJ's video. So today we're looking at um, his thumbnails and the way he presents his videos and more stuff like that, guys. So first of all, let's talk about the way he starts his videos, guys. So let's take this um, if example. Um, six most expensive things YouTubers have bought. Now let's see how he starts off this video now i have turned the sound down guys because for copyright reasons and all that because i don't know if this guy's music is copyrighted or not now as you guys saw in that first few seconds of the video there was a picture of a spider and if you guys don't know he was basically saying in the start of the video if you don't like the video this spider will come into your bed tonight now obviously that's not true that's just a way for him to get likes and subscribers now this is the first bad thing about his youtube channel guys like he's just faking he's basically saying oh if you don't like and subscribe the spider will be in your bed tonight now that's obviously lying now lying to your fans to get likes and subscribers is just horrible guys so that's that's a very pretty bad thing about him guys now let's talk about his thumbnails guys now he usually does this stupid spider nonsense he usually does this oh if you don't like and subscribe this spider will come in your bed tonight thing he does this in in most of them if not all of his videos guys which is pretty bad so now let's talk about his thumbnails guys so as you can see in his two most recent videos his thumbnails look very baity not clickbait but they look they bait the viewer into clicking on it for example we did a video called six most expensive things youtubers have bought like that title and thumbnail just looks baity and all that and now let's talk about his thumbnails and quite a lot of them are pretty bad guys so one of the thumbnails um in his um um he did a video called what unspeakable is what unspeakable is like off camera very sad and the thumbnail is um unspeakable saying it get out now i'm pretty sure unspeakable is not like this like off camera guys now this could be true guys but i think this is quite unlikely guys and i think is th this is just this swipe guy trying to get some views off of unspeakable like i think that's what's going on here guys i'm pretty sure the unspeakable is actually a nice person off camera just like he is on camera guys so i think this video is just fake obviously i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's the case here guys now let's just talk about some thumbnails that are just horrible so the next video after that is called Six YouTubers Secretly Hidden in Movies Unspeakable Down TTM Etc. Well, and the thumbnail is a picture of Unspeakable and then it points to um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Now basically what this thumbnail is trying to imply is that they're basically saying, oh, 
Unspeakable is the person who voiced Sonic in the Sonic movie. Now, if now that's what the um, thumbnail is trying to imply. Now, I know that is 100% fake, guys, because I actually watched that Sonic movie and Unspeakable, like, Sonic's voice in that does not sound, sound like Unspeakable's voice at all, guys. So that thumbnail is straight clickbait, guys. Like, not joking, that thumbnail is 100% clickbait, guys. Now let's look at two other videos. Now let's to look at two other thumbnails for this video. So this video is called Six YouTubers That Barely Escaped Alive, Unspeakable Mr. Beast. Now, um, as you can see, um, there's basically a picture of somebody falling off a building and then showing Unspeakable with a really bad mark. And there's a, another video after that called Five YouTubers That Barely Escaped Alive, Chad Wildclay, etc. Now, there, there's that exact same photo and then a picture of Chad Wildclay's face being scratched now i'm going to talk about why this is definitely one million percent clickbait both of these thumbnails so you're telling me that unspeakable and chad walkley fell off the exact same building with the exact same clothes as each other now nah, that's not true guys that is impossible how both of them fell off a cliff no not cliff they fell off of the exact same building wearing the exact same clothes that is just very, very unlikely, guys. And you see these so-called scratches? Those scratches look pretty edited to me, guys. So both of these thumbnails, clickbait, guys. And then these two videos here. Boy, oh boy, guys. Look at these thumbnails here. These thumbnails just, oh my gosh, we're not even going to talk about these thumbnails here. So what I've gathered from this guy's channel, this swipe guy, is that he uses his stupid spite. He he um his the start of his videos are just horrible. He forces the people to like and subscribe, and his thumbnails are just straight clickbait. That's what I've learned from this guy's channel. So I hope you guys did enjoy me looking at this swipe guy's channel. So this guy's definitely a bad YouTuber, and um hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.